Bang! Knaves Knives, I'm Jared, and today I have a whole bunch of new knives from different companies. So the first one is from Petrified Fish, and this is the Scaler, I think it is. Yeah, the Scaler. And I actually like this thing quite a bit. So it is a backlock, however, it has to be on bearings. This thing is so smooth, like it's not gonna just drop shut because you know it is a backlock, so you get that little bit of resistance until it sucks itself back in, but you can easily reverse flick it, easily drop it down to your thumb. The slow roll is even satisfying because of how smooth it is. Um, this, <laughs> I'm gonna call it a kukri blade shape, but this kukri blade shape is actually pretty cool. Whether it was gonna be for self-defense or you know just cutting things, because one, the tip aims at everything you need to cut. And you know, it, it's easy to get maximum leverage with a spine that tapers like this down into something. So even if you're gonna open up a box, like see how it's just aiming at everything I point at? Then if you're gonna slice something, it's recurved down, so it's going to get trapped. So you're going to be able to make extended cuts really nicely. If you want to turn around and cut a rope, the rope's going to get trapped. So it's not going to slip up and around the blade like, hap like what happens to mo a lot of knives when you try to cut rope straps, especially like plastic straps and stuff. They just slip right off. This isn't going to do that. So that's awesome. The blade steel is 154 cm. The handle on this one is... Um, I, I, can't, I don't remember what type of wood it is. I'll put it on the screen if I can figure it out. But it has uh, wood scales and the reach from the finger here to the, to the uh, release is a great distance. So I think anybody will be able to do it comfortably. And they give you a little spot right there to hit your finger. So you're not going to have to worry about it cutting you or anything on the drop. Even if you hold it a little bit lower, it'll still be just fine. Um, the clip is a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws, not reversible, um, which you think they would have done a reversible just because of, oops, <laughs> just because of a backlock being both right and left handed. But yeah, pretty awesome. Ergonomics are really good. Even though it has this little wave, it is still very, very comfortable. I actually like this thing quite a bit. So very cool. Now we do have one more petrified fish. And that is the Hummingbird. The little Hummingbird. Now the Hummingbird is an M390 steel with a titanium frame lock. So it is very snappy, but it's definitely unique. It's not going to be for everybody. Um, it's some, it kind of reminds you of like a neck knife, something you can dangle from a necklace. You know, it might look cool like a little charm or something. Um, but it does have a clip that you can put in your pocket or inside of a jacket or something like that. The blade, when it pops out, you see how the, the, the scales cover a lot of the blade. So it allows you to get up and use it like this. So this is a precision blade. It's not going to slice anything. You're not going to cut anything open with it, which you're, you're going to open things with it. But what I mean is you're not going to slice and break down cardboard or anything like that. You're going to use this to open things, which that's basically what it is, like a glorified letter opener to some extent, or package opener, I should say. Um, it's like a little utility blade. So, and it actually is kind of comfortable to just, you know, to use like that. You're going to be able to open things up real nicely. The frame lock is pretty low down here. So, you know, it's not going to be something you're going to be uh, fidgeting with like crazy. Eh, but you never know, you know, to each their own, right? Uh, but because it does feel kind of awkward closing it, but it's still cool. Um, M390 steel, I'm not sure if it really needed M390 steel. It is thick behind the edge. So it's like I said, it's not a slicer though. It's the tip that you're worried about. So it's not a big deal. Um, so it's not gonna be the sharpest edge or anything. And it'll probably get dull pretty quick if you did start cutting with it just because of how thick it is. And you're not, it's, you're not gonna wanna sharpen it with a low angle, otherwise the whole the whole thing will just be an edge bevel. So you're, you're not gonna wanna sharpen it too often when you do sharpen it, you're just gonna wanna kinda hone it and you know when you sharpen it, sharpen it at a high angle. And then everything will be fine as long as you sharpen it at a high angle. But you're not gonna be able to put it into a fixed angle system unless you take the blade out probably. So most likely you're gonna have to do this freehand um, but not a big deal. I mean, I think everybody should kind of know how to do that. And I think with M390 steel, you know, as long as you're just using it as it's supposed to be used for, I think it'll last for a long time. You definitely get your money's worth out of it, I'm sure, as long as you're using it for just opening packages up and making sure it's clean and things like that. 
the action's really snappy, super snappy. You have so much leverage. Because look at the pivot. The pivot's right here in the middle. That is super snappy. So it's kind of cool. This would be a cool one to, to get uh, a friend or a girlfriend or something like that. Next. Next is the Sen Cut Vesperon. Now, this is one I've... I really like, I really, really like this one. Sencut does a really good job. It's a simple drop point knife design with, and if you look, the, the drop point drops down and then it rapidly drops right there. So that's gonna help get the tip down a little bit lower. Um, it's got a nice straight area for slicing. Um, this one is the wood version, but there's gonna, you know, there's other versions. T8 hardware all the way around, 9CR18 MOV steel. And then you have a flipper deployment which works great, phenomenal detent. And then you have a hole deployment for the reverse or thumb flick. So very fidgety and a good size, perfect size EDC knife. Like I can get a full grip on it comfortably. It's gonna slice really good. Like I said, this is a great size. Steel liner lock that does have heavy milling on the inside. So it's gonna bring down the weight. Reversible deep carry clip with flat screws, not in set. If I was gonna bring up one little negative, I wish the sharpening tool and plunge grind was a little bit better. But, you know, considering the price of these, it's not a big deal. This is a worker. This is a, um, a knife that you can kind of beat on. I'm not gonna say it's a beater, but you know, it basically is though, it's a beater. It's one you, you, you buy this to use. You know, this is a user. And I know all knives, in my opinion, are users. But some people, when they spend two, three hundred dollars, they're not trying to take that to a job site, right? Um, some people do though, like me, I'm, I'm crazy. But a lot of people, this would be the knife that they're gonna wanna bring to the job site and really tear up, so. And I do understand that. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. Next is a new CJRB. We have two different colors here. Now, this is a big knife. The resource, the CJRB resource. Now these are the prototypes. So these are, I think you can buy them. Uh, but they, these are not the production versions. I'm pretty sure the production version is going to be a one-to-one -one exact same. These are the prototypes and they do, they are selling them. So you can get them. Now I had one little issue with one of my prototypes. You can see it right there. This clip came with a little bit of rust on it. No bueno. This one does not have it. So aside from that, you know, that little tiny issue right there, not that big of a deal. I could probably just clean it off pretty easily. Um, but this is a big knife. It's a large knife and it's very comfortable in the hand. Nice, big, broad blade, nice and slicey, nice big belly, not too hard to get to the tip. Good access to the lock bar. Then it has multiple deployments technically because you have the reverse flick off of this very well done fuller. They did a perfect amount of sharpness without it being sharp. So it's very easy to use. But then you also have the thumb side you can reverse flick off of or thumb flick. So, Technically, it's a couple forms of deployment. Um, but the ergonomics, like I said, are just hand melting. Nice big stop pin, um, nice strong lockup. Uh, both of them, you know, feel very similar, even though one is coated and one is not. So the detents are very consistent. Good detents, by the way. And you know, the, the, the clip is not deep carry, but it's a big knife, so the clip is definitely long enough and feels nice in the hand, so you're not gonna have to worry about it getting in your hand, but you can easily slip it in and out of the pocket and actually have a good grip on it while doing that so you can get it out and get it to work. Um, it is a Dirk Pinkerton design, so that's cool. You know, we love Dirk Pinkerton's, Dirk Pinkerton's designs over here. Um, but yeah, now, there's not too much more to say about it. Like I said, this one is the prototype, so the 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 actual production versions will be coming soon. Next is from Trivisa Knives, and I actually like this thing quite a bit more than I would have thought. You know, just uh, just looking at it first glance. So this is the EQU. Then there's different versions of it, different colors and things like that. 10 CR, 13 MOV steel. I think it's 13. Yeah, no, 15. Sorry, 10 CR, 15 MOV. <laughs> um, the, the blade is a drop point Tonto blade. It has a dual grind on it. And then it has, in this case, red micarta scales, red micarta backspacer, steel liners, deep carry clip that's inset, not reversible. But the action on this thing is really, really good. I don't think anybody could fail this. Like I sat here trying my best to fail it. 
And I mean, it is so, oh, it's so tough. You can't, you can't do it. It is that snappy. I guarantee great grandma could grab this thing and flip it as long as she can break that detent. Um, but the front flipper is also equally as good. This is a super functional front flipper that a lot of people, even people that are not good with front flippers would probably prefer a front flipper like this because one, the jimping's got lots of traction. Tons of traction on that jimping. Gives you a platform to place your thumb on. And so you have a, t and the flipper tab's not big enough to really get in the way. So even if your finger's all the way up behind the flipper tab, you're still gonna flip it. So that's really cool. Good access to the lock bar. Also, when you reach over, because it's kind of angled back a little bit, man, it gives you such a good platform for that too. Like I said, it is very, very functional uh, as far as the front flipper goes and the regular flipper. The ergonomics are very straightforward. It's gonna be neutral grip, so it doesn't matter what grip you have it in, you will be pretty much comfortable. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop, not fall shut, but still very, very smooth. Uh, the geometry is a little bit more on the robust side, but the way I see this thing, this thing's kind of a pokey knife, and you know, you can obviously use it to open things up, and if you did need to cut a strap or a rope or break something down, you absolutely could. This thing will cut just fine. It actually came with a really good edge. Um, very sharp. So uh, this one has a satin finish, actually a two-tone, it has a stone wash here and then satin here and here. Um, so yeah, what I like about it though, is that, or sorry, let me say what I don't like about it. The style of it's not really my style. The blade kind of up sweeps up and then it turns into a tanto. I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer it to sweep down a little bit more. That way you can trap materials um, or at the very least just cut more efficiently. But what I love about it is one, the action, the ergonomics, it's super snappy. I love how the tip drops down so it's gonna be easy to use that tip. You can easily open things up, which is gonna be the main purpose for it. And you know, being that it has this flipper tab, it does actually protect you a little bit from slipping up. Now, I don't really care about that because you know, I just grip really hard and I don't really worry about slipping up, but you know, it definitely does make it a little bit more um, safer, I guess you could say. All in all though, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, I also like that they put a little texturing right here on the lock bar cutout. So, you know, there is a bit to like with this one. Um, it's not gonna be everybody's style, but if it is, if you like Tantos and you like these type of Tantos with the dual grinds and not very pronounced secondary tip because it's not, you can technically turn this into a drop point. I could easily sharpen this into a drop point with one sharpening. So I just wanna make that clear. Like if you are if you like the style, but you wish it wasn't a Tonto, it wouldn't matter. You could turn it into a drop point in 10 minutes, uh, maybe 20. <laughs> but anyways, I think it's pretty cool. You know, it's like I said, it's not 100% my style, but you know, I, I, the more I have it, the more I sit here and mess with it, the more I like it. But anyways, work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.